Wonder Woman, which is dropping on Christmas. HBO is going to do whatever it takes to make sure your home viewing experience for Wonder Woman 1984 is going to be movie theater quality-esque. So HBO Max has announced that Wonder Woman 84 will be shown in Ultra HD, HDR10, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos on HBO Max. So you are going to be able to experience the highest quality in streaming on HBO Max come December 25th. I don't I don't think HBO Max has set a date if it's going to this upgrade is going to happen before HBO Max or if it's going to happen just legit just for Wonder Woman 84. I'm hoping they kind of upgrade before that, but you know, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Excited for that. I wanted to go see it at the theaters because listen, watching this movie only in HD would have been a bummer. But now I could just stay home in my underwear and watch watch it in my own home theater with the best quality. And we can even do a review on it. So be on the lookout for a review on December 26th for the 4K quality. Which, you know, who knows what the HBO Max streaming quality is going to be like in 4K. Is it going to be like Amazon Prime 4K quality? Or is it going to be like iTunes quality? I always find that Amazon Prime's 4K HDR quality is kind of subpar. But I do find the iTunes is pretty darn good looking. It's the closest that I've seen to physical quality. So if HBO Max is anything like that, then it's a safe bet that the physical version will be very similar in its physical quality as well. I, sh I should say that HBO Max 1080p quality is pretty good too. Like I was watching, what was I watching? What's that? Uh, Raised by Wolves. I was watching Raised by Wolves on HBO Max. And it looked pretty good. Like, I thought I was, like, sitting there. I was talking to, uh, you know, Brass Tax on the phone. I was like, this HBO stream looks really close to 4K. Either that or the projector is doing an excellent job of upscaling this HD HD stream. It wasn't as bright as a, as an HD stream, as a, you know, HDR stream. But, um, like, detail-wise for an HD 1080p stream, it, it was really good looking. So I would only imagine that their 4K quality should be that much better. And I've been streaming, uh, I've been watching Titans and Doom Patrol, and I watched Black Christmas. Black Christmas wasn't that good looking, actually. But Black Christmas was kind of bad looking. But like those other shows that I want, that I just mentioned, really good quality for, for 1080p. So, I mean, you know, I got, uh, I got some high hopes for, for HBO Max when it goes all out on their on their 4k hdr upgrade it would, you know it's a still a smart move because the snyder cut is coming sometime in 2021 so they got to get ready for that too like if you want to get uh if you want to get these home theater enthusiasts out there that have spent all this money to stay home during covid19 we need to we need to subscribe to hbo max so we can watch all these new uh direct streaming movies in the home theater for the best quality so yeah leave a, leave your comments down below and uh yeah let us know what you think about this whole thing man uh wonder woman 84 4k hdr dolby vision dolby atmos are you expecting the atmos quality to be good as the original wonder woman which i didn't think it was that great but do you think it's gonna be as good or better than that leave a comment down below and tell us what you're expecting for wonder woman 84 and hbo max um, Philip Chang, are you going to make a review for the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit extended trilogy 4Ks? Regards, the Philippines. I, yeah, so I, I, like I said, I told the other gentleman earlier that I did watch, uh, Fellowship of the Rings a little earlier and it's a, it's not a right movie. It's not a right looking movie. I don't, I think I've read a lot of reviews or I've seen a lot of, uh, chatter about, the Lord of the Rings transfers that they're like one of the best that has come out this year, which they are definitely far from the best that have come out this year. They're good looking. They're, they're a hundred percent better than the Blu-rays, but they are definitely not like the best looking 4k Blu-rays, Blu-ray transfers this year. Audibly, 
audibly, yeah, they're, they're rocking. They got a rocking Atmos track. I would say like reference quality tracks. But visually, uh, listen, there's a bunch of DNR in all three of these movies. There, there just is. It's not... They're pretty soft, too. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I've seen in Fellowship of the Ring is pretty soft. A lot of, some of the stuff I... You know, I skimmed through Two Towers pretty soft as well. Um, listen, if you're, if you're somebody that wants that 4K crispiness... Yo, you ain't you ain't gonna get it with this. It's just not happening, especially Fellowship of the Ring. Um, I only, I only saw like maybe like two minutes of Return of the King, so I, I can't really make a judgment on that though. But, um, but as far as these Lord of the Ring movies, uh, being like like reference quality discs, no, 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 they ain't reference quality discs. If you have some kind of a, a nostalgia because you love Lord of the Rings, then and you, you've been living with the Blu-ray quality, then yeah, that's like way better than the uh, way better than the Blu-rays. But as far as like, a, if I was gonna put them up against a top quality 4K disc this year, even like uh, what just came out recently, like Blade, Blade is an awesome looking disc. I would say at least for Fellowship of the Ring, I would say Fellowship of the Ring is a notch below, notch below Blade as far as like detail and stuff like that, and like color and everything. Uh, audio is definitely better than Blade, but visually, visually, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think it's better than Blade. Um, even like Bloodshot, Bloodshot like blows it away as far as like detail and everything, like detail, sharpness, clarity, and all that. Uh, like Bloodshot rocks it too. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I, I did like the look of it, but it was, it was pretty soft, kind of a pretty soft, kind of blurry here and there. Um, I don't know. I guess. I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do the review or not. Like, Lord of the Rings is one of those movies, like Harry Potter, for me, where it's like, uh, whichever version I'm watching, whether it's three hours or four hours, it takes me multiple sittings <laughs> to go through a movie. Because I will, I will, I will fall asleep multiple times on Lord of the Rings. I, you know, I see. You know, sometimes I'll scroll on Facebook and people will drop their screen caps or on Twitter. You see all like the. Uh, Forbes or whatever they take their little screen caps and it's always like they take a picture of like the best looking part of the movie but what about the other 85% of the movie where it's kind of soft and there's like DNR in the movie I mean come on man like why don't you talk about that and then uh no nah, man it's a it's a it's an all right looking disc it's a nice it's a nice transfer it's a worthy upgrade over the blu-ray definitely worthy upgrade over the blu-ray but Nothing that would make me say 100% go out, man. This is a reference quality disc. Reference quality. Because it's a... Uh... No, man. They ain't reference quality discs. At least not from the first one I saw. It wasn't reference quality. But uh, what are your thoughts? Like, listen, who who's seen Lord of the Rings today? Who picked up Lord of the Rings on 4K today or Hobbit? Like, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? How do you think the transfers look on your display and what kind of display are you guys watching it on are you watching on a television set are you watching it on a projector leave your comments let me know what you think about the lord of the rings transfers on 4k hobbit or lord of the rings on 4k